Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, and welcome back to Kickstart. In this video, we're going to be going over the library specification groups, where we can set up the library template, ranging from things like setting up our default construction, what kind of hardware we're using, even what size our cabinet's going to default to. I'm Ludwig from Rockvelm, and thank you to my partner for this amazing haircut during our lockdown here in Melbourne. Stay safe, everyone. And without further ado, let's get kickstarting. Alrighty, and here we are in our Microvellum toolbox. And to get to our library specification groups, we're gonna go take a trip to toolbox setup. And from here, it's gonna be our third option right over here. So the library specification groups, as I alluded to earlier on, is pretty much a library template. Every project that you start, every candidate that you drop from that project stems from one place and that place is right here. Now, the library specification group is also known as the template specification group, or as I'd call it, Big Red. So Big Red over here is split up into two parts. On the left-hand side is what we call the specification groups, or spec groups for short. And these guys are essentially the backbone of our library. Now, a specification group is made up of six different components. You've got a project wizard, a global file, a material file, edge banding file, hardware file, and finally, a door wizard. And those components that make up the spec group are actually saved on the right-hand side. You can see we've got different categories that they're split up into. There's our project wizard, global file, and so on. And you can see there's numerous cut part files. The reason that we have that is because if you open up the other spec groups, we can see that, for example, the metric cut parts default is saved in this one, while in our imperial spec group, we have the imperial cut parts as a default. Now, it is from here that we can also set up our defaults. Any project that we start going forward is going to be using those defaults. And these can range from a few things. One of the things is going to be how our cabinets are going to be constructed. Now, just a bit of a heads up. Now, the template that I'm using is part of the Markerbellum Foundation library. So if you're using a different library to what I'm using right now, there may be some differences in our different global files or our material files, project wizards, etc. cetera. So just bear that in mind as I go through the different components within my library. While a lot of the theory will be very similar pretty much going forward for any library, there may be a few little nuances here and there. So just bear that in mind, if you will. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the template I would like to edit. In this case, my metric decorative laminate because I deal with metric units. I am not a big inches feet person. I can barely count my fingers, let alone all that. So to access my global file, which has how my cabinets are constructed, I need to access it through these buttons up the top here. And my global file is aptly symbolized with a globe. Click on it here, and I can now access my global file. Now, if you're using the Microvellum Foundation Library, there are two main places I would very highly recommend that you have a look at first before you get to opening up any project. And the first place I would recommend is the user preferences right here. First, we're gonna click on the plus next to it to open it up. And the place I would like you to go to is region. So the region, when we select this, automatically has our cabinet suiting the general kind of construction for that region. Since I'm based in merry old Melbourne here in Australia, g'day, 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 I'm gonna switch this from the US to AU. Now, another place that I would highly recommend that you have a look at is right here in the machining tab. From here, you wanna to go to your machine tool and to your default routing tools. And here what I'd recommend is if you have a CNC or pond rail setup that you assign the tools that are currently in your tool file towards these parameters. As these parameters will select those corresponding tools to use them for certain machining. For example, for my mortars and tenon construction, for my deep routing construction, and so on. So I'm gonna hit OK here, and hitting OK is pretty much what's gonna save it automatically. Now, there are other places that you can go to within your spec group. You can access your project wizard as well, your material file, as well as your hardware wizard, which can be accessed through this little drop-down menu here and selecting hardware wizard. Here, you can set up the default hardware that you're going to be using 
from the first project that you start up. Now, at the moment, I have these three spec groups, but you can also create more or have them set up based on your own sort of specifications rather than have to adjust it going forward. If you would like to create your own spec group, I recommend copying one that already exists. To do that, you simply have to click on the spec group you would like to copy and click on these two pieces of paper here to copy that spec group. So copying this here will bring up the options on how I can use my spec group. So I can go up here and I can give it a different name. For this one, I'm gonna call this Kickstart Template. Now the tick boxes down here are saying what components are gonna be different from what I'm copying. Since I'm gonna be copying my metric decorative laminate, if I have nothing ticked, it's pretty much gonna be a complete replica of it. Now, for this example, I would like to have a separate car parts file and a separate edge band file. Because in this spec group, I would like to have a different set of materials set up within this spec group. So I'm just gonna give this a different name. And for this one, I'm going to call my car parts file wood grain. Because in this kickstart template, from the word go, I'm gonna have a wood grain material set up as a default. As for my edge banding, I'm also gonna have that as a wood grain edge banding. Wood has two O's, Ludwig, wood has two O's. So we're gonna hit okay. And then you can see it's that kickstart template. And if I expand him, there's those newly created components. In fact, you can also see them in my component list on the right hand side. Now, if I've adjusted these wood grain components and I would like to assign them to a different spec group, I can click on the spec group and also on the corresponding component of that spec group, what I would like to assign to it and click on the arrow. And now my metric decorative laminate is using the wood grain component. Now you can also from here create your own components in the library as well. Above your component list, you've got your set of copy, rename, and erase functions. So I want to copy this wood grain cut parts component and instead have it as a color board component. I can click on this copy component and give it a new name. And there he is over here. Now the reason he is orange is because he is not currently assigned to any corresponding spec group. They're just sort of in there, sitting in the dark, waiting, plotting to be used. And from here, if you would like to save your work, all you simply have to do is close up the top right here and Microvel will automatically save those changes. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is our library specification groups. Hopefully with this, you got a bit of better understanding on how it works. Now, if you are going to be going into your template, please do so with a clear vision in mind. After all, this is where all your projects are gonna be getting their information from. So don't go into that all haphazard and willy nilly. Please go in there making clear and concise changes. It's not really a testing ground as if you make a mistake in there, it could cause a bit of issues down the line. With that being said, it is a useful tool to help you streamline the way you work. And as usual, I am Ludwig from Archibald, and thank you so much for watching and take care of yourselves.